Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do a new lesson here. This lesson is on auto transformers and we're going to, you know, figure out everything about them. But before we uh, start making calculations on auto transformers, we need to talk a little bit about, you know, how they work and why they exist and what they do. And so you'll recognize an auto transformer guys because, you know, still has a primary and a secondary, but it doesn't have really a primary winding and a secondary winding. It really only has one winding, okay? And then the way the thing works is, well, for example, let's just for fun, it says here the primary voltage, and this is the primary side, okay? And this is the secondary side. Um, it says here that the primary voltage is 480 volts, and let's just say just for fun that they had 480, you know, turns of wire in this winding then the way they make the secondary is they just tap off, you know, if it was 480 turns and 480 volts, that means every single turn is one volt per turn. And so what they do is they count off 415 turns here, and then, you know, you'd have 415 volts on the secondary side. So this is the primary side, guys, and uh, I got some new markers here. New Sharpie's really fine. You know, we're gonna have to see how that works. This is the secondary side, and uh, it's only one winding, but uh, you know the primary is going to be the source side, you know, and the uh, secondary is going to be the load side, and uh, these two windings here have names, okay, even though it's one big winding and there's no primary winding and secondary winding, these windings do have names. This here is what's known as the series winding. Okay, and then this other winding here called the common winding. Still trying to decide if I like these markers or not. They're nice because they're not, you know, the Crayola markers I was using, they were pretty good, but they don't they start out pretty fine but then they kind of get blunt after a while so we're going to try these for a bit okay so series winding guys and you'll you'll recognize the series winding cuz it's always this winding that's hanging out here all by itself okay it's connected to the primary every time or the high voltage side I should say always connected to the high voltage side hanging out here in series it's called the series winding cuz it's kind of in series with everything and then the common winding here, it's called the common winding because it's common to both the secondary and the primary, okay? And the series winding is kind of only out here in series with the primary. Now, we're going to see why we use these in a minute, but uh, let's just make some calculations and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. And just a heads up, guys, this is a single phase auto transformer, all right, guys? But there are also three phase auto transformers, and we're going to look at the three phase auto transformers in the next video or two as well. All right, guys. So the good news about auto transformers is a lot of it is, is the same. They work the same way in a lot of different ways to a conventional two winding, you know, transformer. And so when we're doing these calculations, pretty much for a lot of them, we can just <clears throat> ignore the fact that it's an auto transformer. So question number question a here guys it says calculate the ratio and this thing is 480 volts and 415 volts and the ratio for any transformer guys is uh you know the high voltage over the low voltage so it's e h over e x right and we can <coughs> excuse me continue to use that the ratio here guys is going to be the high voltage over the low voltage works every time okay guys so 480 over 415 and we'll calculate that right here 480 divided by 415 now I asked you for the ratio on this particular one guys it looks like it's uh, 1.157 to 1 I asked you for the ratio here guys but uh, even if I don't ask you for the ratio, guys, you should always calculate it because uh, if you know the ratio about of a transformer, you know a lot about the transformer, okay? And you're going to use that ratio over and over again. Calculate the primary line current. So it says here I secondary, guys, and that would be measured right here, right? I don't know what this load is out here, but it's drawing 90 amps, okay? And um, 
It's 90 amps, okay, and now it's asking for the uh, primary line current, and uh, we're gonna calculate that using the ratio because for every transformer, the ratio, it's really three things, right? It's EH over EX, and it is IX over IH, okay, because it's gonna be the high current side over the low current side, and the secondary is gonna be the high current side, guys, and the primary here is gonna be the low current side because you know, that's the high voltage, that's the low voltage. So we're going to use the ratio to calculate the primary line current, and that's going to be uh, IH, right? I primary. It's always going to be I secondary over the ratio. Okay, and uh, let's calculate that for a second here. It is uh, 90 uh, divided by... 1.157 okay guys so i don't know i don't have much room here right it's 90 over 1.157 and so it is 77.8 77.78 and i would be able to measure that right here okay guys and so far guys this is exactly the same as if I was doing any transformer calculations. Okay, guys? So we've done uh, A and B. Okay, let's look at C here for a second, guys. And it says calculate the current in the series winding. Now, this is the common winding. There's the series winding. Have a look here, guys. If this is 77.78, it's got to be that also. Okay, the series winding is always going to be equal to, you know, the high voltage winding current, okay, guys, because they're in series, okay? So this is just going to be 77.78 amps, okay? I mean, it's in series with that. Calculate the voltage across the series winding. Let's have a look. Basically, guys, everything about auto transformers, is applying all the things that you learned in level one. All right, guys, about Kirchhoff's law, about voltage rules, about current rules, and about all those kinds of things. So really, try to instead of trying to remember everything that you need to know about series, about auto transformers, guys, you just really need to look at the thing and make decisions based on what you learned in level one, okay? So that's what we did here, calculate the current in the series winding. Well, it's in series with that, so it's gotta be the same, right, Kirchhoff? said that there's only one current in a series circuit. So calculate the voltage across the series winding. This is the series winding here. Now we got 480 volts dropping from here to here and, and 415 volts dropping from here to here. Well, the sum of the voltage drops has got to equal the voltage rise, right guys? So this is going to be 480 volts, you know, minus 415 volts, right guys? 480 minus 415. Okay, guys, 65 volts. Okay, guys, calculate the current in the common winding. Here's the common winding right here. Well, let's take a look at that and apply, you know, a bunch of rules, Kirchhoff laws, basically. Right here, guys, I got 90 amps, right? That's the secondary. Right here, guys, I've got 77.78 amps, okay? It's asking about this current right here. What is it? Well, Kirchhoff said current in has got to equal current out. If I've got 77.78 here and 90 here, then this must be the difference. And so the current through the common winding, guys, is going to be the 90 that's leaving minus the 77.78 that's coming in. All right, guys, so... Let's do that. 90 minus 77.78 equals 12.12 amps. Okay. 12.12 amps right there. And, you know, even if you looked at this corner right here, right, that guy's 90, right? So 77, 90, the rest. All right, guys. 12.12. 
Calculate the voltage across the common winding. Here's the common winding. It says that the secondary voltage is 415. That's from here to here. Okay, that is the common winding. Okay, so this is just going to be 415 volts. All right, guys. Now, here's the tricky ones. Okay, calculate the transformed KVA. Calculate the KVA of the load. Well, let's talk about these two for a second. The transformed KVA is the KVA of this actual transformer, okay? And it gets calculated slightly differently, so we're going to do it right down here, okay? G. The KVA of this little transformer gets calculated, okay? The VA for any auto transformer is going to be E series times I series. In other words, it's the voltage dropping across the series winding times the current through the series winding. Okay. Or, and it's really and or, VA is equal to E common times I common. In other words, it's the voltage dropping across this winding. So imagine this having two different windings. The VA of the transformer is going to be, you know, it's just like every other transformer. If I have a conventional transformer, I have a primary and a secondary winding, okay? And the VA will be, you know, the voltage dropping across the primary times the current through the primary, or it'll be the voltage dropping across the secondary times the current through the secondary. Well, imagine this as, you know, even though it's one winding, imagine it as two separate windings. The VA is going to be E series times I series, or E common times I common, and there they are. And they should be the same. So let's calculate this twice, okay? The, and, you know, hopefully we very calc carefully calculated all these things so that we get this right. So E series, guys, is 65. I series is 77.78, okay? So let's calculate that. 65 times 77.78. Looks like it's 5,000. 5056 VA. Okay. But we're going to calculate it over here using the other winding. VA is going to be E common, which we decided right over here. Ooh, right there. 65. Okay. Times I common. 12. Okay, let's try that. Oh, did I make a mistake here? E series. No, yeah, I made a mistake right here. E common, sorry. I knew something was looking wrong here. And you got to be really careful with all this, guys. Like, you know, don't be like me, all right? 415 times 12.12. 12 415 times 12.12. 12 Five oh, you know, three oh, VA. Okay, guys, and these two are the same, close enough. All right, guys. So, uh, those two VA should be the same here. I'm gonna just uh, look at my homework book here, guys, to see if I made a stupid mistake here somewhere because I'd like those to be a little closer and they're not so. Let's see if we can figure out if I made a mistake or if that's just rounding. And uh, hopefully it's just rounding. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. I think this 12.12. Oh, that's right. Seventy-seven point eight one. That's yeah, pretty close. Close enough. Okay, guys. So those are my two VAs, and they're close enough. Okay. Now, so this is a 5,030 you know, VA transformer. We're going to calculate H here for a second, guys, and uh, calculate the KVA of the load. Well, the load is out here somewhere. I don't know what it is, but I do know it's 415 volts and 90 amps. So the VA of the load, guys, is going to be E load, right, times I load. Right, guys? And uh, that's uh, 415 times 90. 
415 times 90 equals 37350VA. Now, here's the kicker, okay? This transformed KVA, okay, that is the VA of this actual transformer. The VA of the load is the VA of the load. Now, if you look at those, I'm using a 5,000 VA transformer to supply a 37,000 VA load. All right. Now, what's going on there? Well, the auto transformer is unique in that most of the current skips it completely. I mean, I had 77.78 amps here and 90 amps out to the load, and only 12 of that was actually going through the transformer. What that means is because most of the current is skipping the transformer, the transformer itself is way smaller than the actual load it's driving. That is where the auto transformer shines, okay? Because this thing is going to be very inexpensive compared to a conventional transformer. I mean, if I had a conventional transformer, guys, it would look like this, right? It would look like this. I know this video is getting long. Okay, this guy here would be 480 volts. It would be 77.78 amps. Okay, this side here would be 415 volts. And it would be 90 amps. And the VA here, guys, would be 480 times 77.8. Okay, so let's just calculate it. I mean, it's going to be basically this. Okay, it's going to be 480 times 77.78. It's going to be 37334 VA. And same on the secondary side, okay? The VA on this side would be 415 times 90. Okay, let's try that. 415 times 90, 37350. Okay, and so this conventional transformer is going to have, you know, giant windings, 37 kVA to feed this 37 kVA load. The fact that I've made it out of a auto transformer means I can use a 5 kVA transformer running a 37 kVA load, okay? And so we're going to continue to this discussion and look at a three-phase auto transformer in the next video. So come on back for that.